Hey guys, so I was requested to do a review on the Sonia Kashuk um, holiday brushes a while ago and I just hadn't been filming at the time because I was super busy so I want to apologize and I can't remember off the top of my head who requested it but I will go and look and I will have her name um, on the screen here and also in the down bar. I don't know if she has a channel or not, but I'll just go ahead and put it down there anyway. Um, so thank you so much for requesting. Um, but this is what the holiday collection looks like, and these are the Sonia Kashuk ones, and it came with a set of 10, and it was like $20, $25, and you can actually still get this set at Target. Um, they won't change it until probably next month. So if you want to get this, you better go out and get it now or it should be going on clearance soon too. So if you want to wait for that, cause I've gotten a bunch of sets on clearance before. Um, but if you don't know, I use every single brush that I use basically almost every single brush is a Sony Kashuk brush. Um, but the only way that I get them is in like sets because I find that it's a better deal. Cause like sometimes her brushes can be like 10 bucks a piece. Um, so it's just better to pay, you know, $20 for several brushes than $20 for a couple. Um, so in this set, it contained um, an eyebrow brush, which just has a comb and a brush uh, just to help, you know, trim your eyebrows or just, you know, make sure they're in control. Um, and then also a flat shader brush, which I have been using a lot recently. Um, and this eyeliner brush, I don't like these eyeliner brushes because they're always super, like, hard. Like, all of them. It doesn't matter. Um, it's not just this set. Like, it's pretty much all of them. The angled ones are super hard because I had another one. And they're just so hard that, like, this one's a little bit softer. You can see product coming off of that. But this one's a little bit softer, but this one is really hard. Like, it scratches your eyelids. So I don't even use this for anything because it is super hard. The bristles are really hard and scratchy. So I didn't like that brush. Uh, and then this little domed um, foundation concealer brush, whatever you want to call it, um, it's really great for getting in around your nose or under your eyes. Who holds a brush like that? But around your nose or like under your eyes or around your lips or anything like that. Um, it was a good, it was a pretty good brush, um, but I would recommend it more so for concealer because, um, I mean. You should, you know, do a, a small cleanse of your brushes, you know, weekly, but, like, you have to, like, deep clean this brush every time you use it with a foundation. With a concealer, you can, you know, it's fine. Um, moving on is a pencil brush that came in this set, and I have been loving it. I like this one because it's, like, a legitimate pencil brush. Like, it's, it's not too big, and it's not too thick. It's, like, just right. It's the right pencil brush. It's perfect for going under your lash line or creating an outer V in your outer corner. Um, if you want to see a tutorial on this eye look, by the way, because I used all these brushes, let me know in the comments. Um, this brush here, I really like. Um, I got another one of these in a set before. I don't know where it is, but I've had one of these brushes. It's, like, an angled eyeshadow brush. I like to use it for like up under my eyebrows um, to help highlight and have a more concentrated highlight or just to help blend out the edges of my eyeshadow. So I really do like that brush. And this one's soft. Um, sometimes, yeah, here it is. I have another one just a little like it. Um, yeah, that one's soft too. I think this one's, this one's a little bit more stiffer, but these ones are pretty soft. Um, but that's that one. And then this one is a, let's think here. It's like a bigger eyeshadow brush. I have another one of these too, by the way, by her as well. So she does come out with like the same ones. This one's just a little bit smaller and this one's bigger. Um, but I like to use this one for either, this one I ended up like removing glitter with this, but I normally would use it for like up under my eyebrow as well as a highlighter um, to help highlight. And then this is a great brush. It's, I'm sorry, these are all dirty, but um, this one is a great brush. It's super, um, it's way bigger than the other blending brushes that I've had from her, and I really like it just to put a nice wash of color in there, and I normally just do a neutral eye with this brush. Um, and then this one's a good blush brush if you just want to, like, tap it on like that. I don't really recommend buffing. I don't know why, but these ones seem to shed a little bit more uh, than the other ones that I've had, but this one sh uh, this one doesn't shed. This one, okay, really none of them shed but this one right here, and I'll talk about it in a second. Um, so that's this one. I just like it just to apply just a little bit of blush, just patting. I don't recommend to swirl it on with that brush. And then the last brush, last brush that came in the set is this fan brush. And um, this one has been shedding like crazy, and I don't know why, um, but I find that all of her fan brushes shed like crazy. 
uh, because I have another fan brush by here. This one's a little bit bigger than this one. Um, and I found that this one, like, it didn't shed as much as this one because this one, like, falls out all the time. But this one, it did occasionally fall out. Um, but her fan brush is the only thing that I really didn't like in this set. Um, like, I don't find it useful. Like, I mean, I have used it for, like, highlighting, but I don't typically highlight with this. I highlight with, like, a stippling brush. Um, but, um, you can tell that I really like Sony Cash Collections because, that's how I pronounce her name, too. I don't really know how to say her name. I have a crap ton of her brushes, and they're mostly from her set. Um, so I'm just going to show you a few of these that are more unique. Um, not that one. Oh, like, let me, you know, scoot back a bit. Plus, all of her brushes are so cool, and I'm about to show you every single handle. Um, but, like, these ones just look so elegant, and they're, like, they have indentation, and they just feel like they're from Estee Lauder or something. Something expensive. They just feel expensive, um, and they're pretty good price for brushes. Um, okay, so some of the unique ones that I've gotten in some of her sets, and I've gotten them like a, a couple times, is this angled contour brush is what I like to use it for. Um, you can use it for powder, um, but what I really want to use it for, and I don't even have yet, and I've like had this forever because this is like last year's collection, um, is like a cream bronzer, just to put it here. You know, I think that would be really awesome for this. But this one is amazing. This one came in a set, though. So I've never seen this one by itself before. But I've gotten it a couple of times in different variations. Like, this one's kind of similar, but it's a little bit different. But this one's a little bit more fluffier, and this one's a little bit stiffer. So, I mean, they just come out in different variations, I guess. The most unique one, and I know it's a dupe for a MAC brush um, that MAC doesn't carry anymore. I don't know the number of the MAC brush, but I will find it down below and tell you. Um, this one is $12.99 by Sony Kashuk, and this is like a contour brush. I really like to just apply my contour like that. You can blend it out like that. You can take a different brush and blend it out, but it's just great for giving you a nice, defined contour look, you know, so you just look chiseled and you look really good. So this, it's my favorite, all-time favorite brush. But like, yeah, this is just her basic line of handles. The sets, you know, come in funner things like this polka dot one, which I really like this to set my foundation with, um, or like the plaid one, like I showed you. This was the first collection that I ever bought and it's like the C collection one where like the handles look like coral and I love that. Um, and I love this blush brush too. And then also she had this one where it was like a crisscross design, which I really liked. Um, but this part, the crisscross part here, like it wore off on some of my brushes because I use this one all the time. This is the best contour brush I've ever seen. It's like a smaller domed brush and it's what I use today to help contour my face. So I really like that one. And then she also had like this jungle collection that came out um, that had like these different like neutral brushes. And then I bought, like, a little travel one, which I do, I'm a huge fan of this, because um, some of her sets come with little clutches, by the way. This set did not, but um, this set did, and this set did, this little mini travel set. It came with, I think there might be another brush, no, maybe not, um, a big flake shader, flat shader brush which I really like for just putting on one color and you're done and you're good to go. Um, a little angled crease brush and a brush for, um, I like to put on a foundation with this actually, but um, you can use it for blush or contouring or your foundation. And then a little liner brush, which I liked to do some gel liner with um, and that type of thing. But the only brush that I didn't really care for are these two, the fan brush and the angled brush because this one is super hard but there's like another one that I have by her I don't know where it is and it's super hard and it does not feel good like this one is like can you hear it how like rough it is it's really rough I don't like that one but all the other ones I do and it's definitely worth the money because they are super cute and if Sigma came out with something like this with a cute handle like this um you know that has design into it it would be like a hundred like two hundred dollars or something I don't even know um so yeah, but these are really good quality brushes for drugstore brushes. I really recommend the Sony Kashuk brushes if you can. And if I can find the link to this um, holiday collection set, I will link it down below for you. And any of the other sets, um, I will try and link them down below for you because they're just, they're great. They're amazing. And you need to try them. Everybody should try them. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a firm believer. So anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.